Hi, good afternoon. So yeah, I'm walking outdoors right now and there are there are dogs right here. I'm not wearing my mask because um, there's nobody outdoors in this time of the day. So with all respect, you know, um, I just prefer to really breathe so freely because, you know, when we enjoy the the air that God gives us, you know, we can really be grateful for how loving the Lord is for us to breathe the air that He designed. So, okay, um, I'm vlogging right now because I feel so joyful in my heart because I remember Brother Bo Sanchez. Brother Bo Sanchez is a preacher, a Filipino preacher, and he has started the feast. Um, I, I just want to make an introduction about him for those who haven't known about Brother Bo. And he started the feast, so there are 300 plus feasts around the world that are centered on the church that they are building uh, preachers in every feast so it's like um it's like apostleship so yeah uh, he's a roman catholic uh, preacher so i remember brother bo sanchez he was saying something that encourages a person that um there was a woman who happened to be uh, losing faith because of some of the problems and struggles that she experiences in life so what happens is she's she's trying to look for for vigor for energy for something that she can enjoy and her family and friends were suggesting to her that why won't she go volunteer and um, make her time uh, very useful for the other people that she can serve so what happens is she served people and then she realized after doing those things she was saying when she was asked about how she feels she said that wow she never knew that that vigor and that energy that is so vital in her life has brought into much um greatness of the elation in the spirit that she has felt so much uh um, um, satisfaction in life that she has found her purpose because she was serving people I think the story is that she was serving the poor something like that maybe probably feeding program I think something like that so it really gets to the main point that when a person finds his and her purpose about serving others that is the time that the person would really feel so satisfied that there is the feeling the the in feeling the fulfillment in the heart that you would know that you're doing it for loving God because you know we can really love God by loving the people around us because that is the greatest commandment of the Lord that you should love God above all which is love God with your mind heart soul and strength and the next greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as you love yourself so you know the the void that we have in our heart can really be filled with with so much energy that comes from God because when we found inside of us that we are useful that we we are vessels of grace we are instrument of peace we are channel of love and we realize you know what excuse me there are just so many beautiful birds right here in my view and I'm so thankful for this and thank God for that so okay so that's what I mean to say so for my own personal experience I have also a story to share that really have given me so much hope. I was telling my mom earlier over lunch, um, I was teary-eyed because it can really make me cry whenever I remember that story because it's so much filled with so much hope. It, it really gives me hope. It really does because you can see hope in the eyes of the innocent the eyes of the innocent because uh, I, I used to study in Philippine Women's University in Taft Avenue, Manila. So when I was studying there, I, I was outdoors because I was trying to uh, look for a ride. I think I was about to go back to condo. And then what happens is there was a mother carrying a child and I approached them because they look so happy. They, they were smiling and I was approaching them because they look so friendly. And I am also myself friendly. So I asked them, how are you doing? Um, what are you doing here? Why are you here? And how are you? And I was like, uh, starting a conversation as if we are friends. And it's, you know what? That is really, uh, uh, with all honesty, people in Manila are like, 
very friendly people. Yeah, Filipinos are known for being friendly. So, you know, um, with that moment that I was asking them how did they do, um, the parent was saying that they went from the hospital, that the, the child has a checkup because she has uh, cancer, something like that. So I was surprised and however I see the joy in their face that they, they are so filled with hope and they were smiling and they, they have so much freshness in their countenance. So I was glad for that. And then I realized the spaghetti from McDonald's, I was saying I have some cash over m my wallet so I think I can share a little bit. So I was like buying spaghetti from McDonald's and coca-cola you know what to be honest coca-cola is a healthy drink but that was the option so i got i got the coca-cola and the spaghetti yes and then um what i did is when i went back to them that they were at the waiting shed when i went back to them i told them you know what we can go inside the school and we can eat so what happened we went inside the school, the Philippine Women's University, we went inside and we were sitting at the benches, I think, or some chairs with beautiful round tables, something like that. So the, the kid, I prepared the, the food to her in front of her and she started to eat the spaghetti and then she was hearing music playing and it's so beautiful because the the music was upbeat it was destiny's child say my name i remember that so she started to to dance she started to sway her shoulders and then right there and then i realized that okay thank god for this divine appointment i just realized today that it is a divine appointment that i have had because it has really given me so much hope that i have seen hope in her eyes that she can really get well and that miracles really happen for those who have faith and of course people who who can really just uh, come come on and have more faith in in their hearts and hope for healing it's like um give it a try give jesus a try that you can just you know i was not even praying over the child because i was not i, I was not too uh, adequate when it comes to healing ministry during those times because I haven't heard some of the preachers but now you know uh, since that I have been watching preachers online that they are laying their hands on the sick and they're praying over the sick I just realized the value of praying over the sick that they can receive the healing because for me I also have a healing gift that that comes from god that i really want to nurture because um it's so funny that when i massage my father i really feel warm on my body warmth on my body and then the anointing of the holy spirit is flowing through me and you know what it's a miracle so yeah that's it that's the miracle story i mean that's the hope story yeah the miracle story actually so yeah so i'm just sharing to you that um hope is really uh, present in us when we have the knowledge of god so one of the best things really in life to really make us have hope in life is the knowledge of god the goodness of the lord because um it is in the bible that says give thanks for the lord for his love endures forever and I wish I can quote exactly the scripture, but um, you can look it up over Google and I'll just study my Bible also. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. So I'm just sharing to you because um, it's really beautiful to really push hope on people, especially that, you know what, it's really, it's really with good respect on people. Um, there, are, there are many preachers out there who are really preaching the truth. And however, um, some preachers are also beautifully called by God about encouragement that specifically their way of preaching is to encourage and for me for me as I really desire to be a preacher because I really love the word of God and I want to consecrate my life because I really want to consecrate my life actually because I want to show the world that being a Christian is a very beautiful life you can live your most beautiful life when you are Christian because that is true because you know what um what i really can testify about that is that when i do have my spiritual battles 
I can just sing worship songs or I can sing some secular music as well. Um, it's really enjoyable to the fact that music is where God is. You know what? You can hear the voice of God through the sound of a guitar, piano, tambourines, drums, violin, cello, banduria, banjo, <laughs> kulintang, <laughs> you know, all of the musical instruments. You can really find the voice of God in music because God is harmony, especially when you look up to the verses in the Bible that speaks about, um, above all, close yourself with love that binds all in harmony i think it is in the book of colossians i think i would double check that one um binds all in harmony because that's it true that is true because god himself is music you know what there was a time that i was crying looking up to the sky and i was telling the lord lord you know what i wouldn't know how it is to feel alive if it's not because of you if it's not because of music because you are music and that's how i find life because music is life and other people would say music is lifer <laughs> <laughs> so you know uh, that's it i'm just sharing um stories of hope stories of miracles stories of music because i really just want to encourage somebody out there because you know um i have been through something that really have challenged my spirit and i have realized how to be humble i realized that you know what even though we are given the authority under heaven by the name above all names philippians chapter 15 which is you know the lord jesus christ's name when when you can really um acknowledge the name of the lord the most powerful beautiful wonderful name above all names that all knee will bend and bow before him you know um it's really beautiful to to really acknowledge how how good our savior is because you know you you would know exactly that um god's grace is within within us within us our ourselves as that the body of the temple of the holy spirit so you know what i was praying i was saying father god i know that you are a spirit and you want you want to move you want to move in lives of people because lord you are you are spirit i was talking to the father because i i read from the bible that god is spirit so i was telling god you know what god um i really want to make you happy and i want to do use my body for your glory because um i just i just really acknowledge the fact that some preachers like pastor vlad savshak he was saying that you know what you want to know how the holy spirit can really move through through us it is because we are his address we are his home the holy spirit has a body and that is our body because we are the temple of the holy spirit so you know i really acknowledge that and i really i really um put that in my heart and in my mind and in my soul that i am the temple of the holy spirit and so are you so you are the temple of the holy spirit so so when i was telling the lord lord i know that you are limitless you are all ever powerful but there is something that limits you when people are really in need of your spirit so you know i really i really understand that 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 because you know it's not difficult to understand the the mystery of the 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 lord it's not really difficult because it's really easy to understand that you know what it's like comparison to the sun you know what there's so many beautiful birds i hope i can show you the birds if only I can show you, they are so cute. So you know what, they are yellow and black birds. <laughs> How adorable. So you know, I'll try to get closer so maybe we can take a video of them when they fly. So I was saying the, the Lord God um, being compared to the sun is like the center of the solar system is the sun. So it means everything in our lives is centered on God because all things are moving, all things are breathing, all things are alive according to the grace of the Lord. So everything revolves around God. So like how earth does to the sun, you know, revolving around the sun. So the sun also 
is bright and light because Jesus Christ is light and God is light. God is light. Um, just like John the Baptist was saying that he was not the light. He was just there to testify about the light in the book of John. And yeah, so the Lord is the light. And then when you feel the heat and the life that gives life to all around us, that's the heat, that the presence of the, the sun. So that is the Holy Spirit because even though the Lord Jesus is right there, seated on the right hand of the Father, the Spirit is here with us. So yeah, how beautiful the sun is. So yeah, my dad is here and I think I better be doing some of my projects today I think I would be painting yeah and writing songs I have new songs actually good good songs I really have it's like whoa beat makers would be happy about the songs that I'm writing <laughs> what the car is just so loud what's up with that anyway thank you so much for watching God bless you guys <laughs>